The sanctuary was started to give people an opportunity to meet animals that they might not otherwise meet, farm animals, and to get acquainted with them, form a connection, and begin to think of them as other than just breakfast, lunch, and dinner. To see that these animals are individuals with personalities and hopefully begin to rethink their food choices and to move toward a diet that's free of animal products. The sanctuary is on eight acres. We have donkeys, goats, cats, chickens, peahens, a duck, a deer, rabbits, a pig. We're a 501c3 nonprofit, completely supported by donations. We host a lot of programs for youth, and it gives the kids hope. Barry is the co-director of the sanctuary. He's on our board, and as a licensed psychiatrist, it's really helpful having him here. The animals here are farm animals, and this world, this country, are full of factory farms where billions of animals have no life whatsoever. They're raised on feedlots, they're treated horribly, and at the end of their life they're slaughtered in very inhumane ways. So we're really here to change all that. We're, we're here to help educate people that it isn't necessary to eat meat. It's, in fact, it's unhealthy to eat meat. I know this as a doctor. The less meat you eat, the better. And so what's better for humans is also better for all the animals. And part of our mission, a huge part of our mission, is to help put an end forever to factory farms and slaughterhouses. We have one goat named Larry who was tied up for 10 years. The people had him on a tether with no other animals. He had never seen a goat. He had never been off his tether. And when he came here, he just blossomed. Um, he turned out to be the nicest goat in the world. He just loves being petted. He's now 18 years old, which is way beyond the average life expectancy for a goat. Goats usually live an average of 13 years, but Larry is so happy. It's really as if his life just began when he came to the sanctuary, so he just wants to keep living. Freddy is another one of our goats who's special. He's really bonded with humans because his mother was killed by hunters. He's one of many orphaned animals at the sanctuary who lost their mothers to hunters. We have a deer who also was orphaned that way, and oh, she is the sweetest deer. It's amazing that a wild animal like a deer could be so loving and tame. She follows us everywhere, and she just loves being nuzzled and cuddled, kissed. She has no fear whatsoever of humans. One of our donkeys named Lehua had been living under the dark crawl space of a house, and she wasn't getting any sunlight or seeing any animals. And when she came here and met another donkey, she, she was so happy. They, the two donkeys bonded instantly and they were inseparable. Never more than two feet apart, they went everywhere together. Leilani Farm Sanctuary is really a labor of love and we like to share the experience with other people. We love when people come and meet the animals, see the farm. We welcome volunteers and very much appreciate contributions. This is only one sanctuary, obviously, and we have our hands full keeping this one going. But what our aim is that this would be a model. I mean, there are already other sanctuaries, there are a few, but we would like there to be hundreds, thousands, all over the country, all over the world, where people could come and experience this beautiful life, experience the animals when they're in their authentic world how wonderful they are, what great friends they are. You know, chicken, chickens aren't our dinner, they're our friends. <laughs> you know, we're so happy here. <laughs> Sweet Leilani, heavenly flower, nature fashioned roses kissed with dew. And then she placed them in a bower It was the star